range of the functions. Okay, I gave these domains or these functions as sets of ordered pairs. So they're very small functions. They only have four points on their graphs. But it helps us to see how to find a domain in a range or what the concept of domain and range is. So the domain is supposed to be the set of x values that are parts of the function for which there's graphs or, point, or points on the graph of the function. So for the domain of the function, we're looking at the set of the x coordinates that we can see. So if I look at my x coordinates, I'm going to underline them here. We have the numbers 3, negative 1, 7, and 2. So I'm going, those numbers are the numbers that are in the domain of the function. They're just the x values. You don't need to, but I'm going to choose to write them in numerical order from increasing uh, from lowest to highest because it just makes me feel more comfortable. So negative 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 7. But you could have written them in any order, but you just write down the x coordinates that you see, and those x coordinates are the domain. Now the range is the y coordinates, the set of y coordinates that you see inside of your function. So here we have a 2, and a 5, and a 3, and a negative 3. Notice I'm underlining the second coordinates, the y coordinates. So the range of this function, again I'm choosing to put them in numerical order from lowest to highest, no need to, but I wish to, so I'm going to go negative 3, 2, 3, 5. And those are the answers to that to that question. That's how you find the domain and the range. Let's do another one together with maybe a little bit of a sneakiness. Let's see if this one has a sneakiness or not. Okay, so the domain and the range of this uh, relation, actually I'm going to have to now say it's a relation. This one's actually not a function. The domain of this relation is going to be the x-coordinates that we see. So we see 2, 3, 2, 5. So what are the x-coordinates we see? We see a 2, we see a 3, and we see a 5. Now, we do not write the number 2 twice, even though we see it twice. So the domain is just, what are the numbers that are the x-coordinates that we actually see? We see 2, 3, and 5. That's actually, by the way, why this is not a function. In a function, you don't have repeated x-coordinates. Otherwise, you have two outputs being assigned to the same input. Okay, but that's neither here nor there on this problem. What's the range of this relation? The range would be the y coordinates we see. That's a negative 1, a negative 2, and a 3, and a 7. So the range is negative 2, negative 1, 3, and 7. So notice that the range might have more values than the domain, or the domain might have more values than the range potentially. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can find the domain and the range of this relation. This relation right here. Okay, so assuming you paused it, tried it out on your own, let's see what we get. The domain would be the x values that we see. The x values that we see are negative 1 and 2. And even though we see two pairs that have a 2 in the x coordinate, we don't need to write the 2 twice. We only need to write it once. And then what do we have in our range? Our range would be the set of y coordinates, which are 5, 5, and negative 1. So we have a range of negative 1 and 5. Again, no need to write 5 twice.